Yeah, I was just wondering if you had any available appointments for today or tomorrow. Uh, yeah. As late as possible. 7.30? That'll do nicely. Right, so that's the haircut sorted. 7.30 tonight, we've got the last appointment. Fantastic, that's exactly what I wanted. So with that said, it's two o'clock in the afternoon, no one's here, Dad's at work. Um, I've got my tights on, I've got my fucking, one of the new t-shirts on, and I'm feeling fucking sweet to go hit some legs or back. I'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna go in this gear, and uh, no one's gonna say shit about me being in tights in the gym because that's what I'll say to you guys. Fuck you. I'm allowed to wear what the hell I want in the gym. Don't. Sorry, I wasn't saying that to you, but I was saying that to prospective um, people who are going to give me shit, but uh, no one's going to do that, are they? Anyways, I'll see you guys there. Uh, what is going on, everybody? We're sitting outside the public library getting some more Wi-Fi. Times are tough, man. Times are tough. None of my parents have fucking Wi-Fi, but I think I think my dad is actually getting it this week, so I may be able to use it for the last few days of the holiday. But what I will say is that I came down here and uploaded a couple of videos last night, and fuck me, it was fast. Like, that's proper Wi-Fi. That's proper 4G shit. In Alice Springs, God, we have slow internet. Um, leg day. Done and dusted, baby. Done and dusted. Didn't do back... So glad I've got legs out of the way. We did five working sets of 12 reps on box squat. Um, I used a working set weight of 120 kg. After that, I went to a seated leg press, did four working sets, 12 to 15 reps. Um, after that, I went to a leg extension and did four working sets, and a leg curl and did four working sets. So, yeah feeling good, legs are pumped, I'm now going to go into the supermarket and grab some food, I'm going to do some meal prep, I'm here for at least another week and my meals have been suffering because I haven't been preparing so that's what I'm going to do and also I'm going to help out dad as well because he really is not in any state to sort of cook, uh, cook too much or worry about too much so I'm going to make double the meals so me and him can have some meals so that'll be good. But anyways, I'll show you guys what I get when I get home, peace. All right, everybody, we are home now, and I shall show you what we got. That was the easiest grocery shop I've ever done. Show you guys what I got. Protein, protein sauce. We've got chicken breast, and we have some beef and lamb rissoles, which are full of fat, but I had to get something different than chicken breast because Dad fucking, you know, he's not a bodybuilder. He doesn't want dry chicken breast, right? So anyways, that is the protein sauce. We've got kumara, two types of kumara. I'm going to make roasted kumara and I'm going to make uh, mashed kumara as well, which is really nice. It's basically sweet potato, but it's the New Zealand version. And I'm going to make up another mix. So we've got protein over here. We've got one carb sauce, and we've got another carb sauce. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix rice with chickpeas and also some uh, four bean mix. I'm going to mix that up, put some seasoning in there, and that is going to be another carb sauce. Um, so it'll be chicken and kumara and also chicken and that mix there and then also I've got his three favorite types of biscuits which I have had throughout my entire life and um, yeah these these won't last long between the both of us so that's for sure so uh, yeah I'm gonna get on to it guys we've got some plastic containers here how many 25 I'm not gonna use them all but yeah shouldn't take too long you know how we do it meal prep meal prep uh, what day is it today Fucking meal prep Tuesday. Let's get into it.
Now that is some fucking good going. I started at five o'clock. It's been 45 minutes. We've got baked herb potatoes and kumara. We've got mashed kumara with butter and milk. Tastes fucking delicious. We've got a mixture of rice, chickpeas and uh, kidney beans. And out here we have the rissoles. We've got the chicken just about done. And he ain't even home from work yet. That's some good shit. That is some good shit. So I'll show you guys the uh, finished result. I'm just going to lay these out. I'm probably going to make... I actually don't know how many I'm going to make, but we'll see. Right, guys. The time is... Uh, what is it? Ten past six. That means we've been cooking for an hour and ten minutes. Unfortunately, I underestimated the amount of meat that I had, but we've got eight meals of probably about a hundred to 150 grams of chicken breast, one of the lamb and pork rissoles, and the mixture of rice, chickpeas, and kidney beans. We've got three meals of mashed kumara uh, with chicken, and with, again, 150 grams of chicken and one of the rissoles. And we have uh, roasted kumara and chicken breast, probably about 200 grams of chicken breast, and... I don't know how much potatoes in there. And then we've got these three, which don't have any meat at all. So one mashed kumara and two roasted kumara. I mean, look at that. Done. I'm sorted for the next fucking four or five days. So we're good. Happy with that. Happy with that. Uh, Ten past six means that my haircut is in about... Fuck, I'm a bit sweaty, actually. Haircut is in... Um, what is it? Well, it's at 7.30, so that's an hour and 20, so I'd better get my shit together and uh, get over there because I don't want to be late. Um, if you miss your appointment, they won't give you another one unless you pay for your last appointment. So I ain't missing it. I've got to get ready. Right, guys, so it's um, haircut time, and it seems we've got two visitors. I'm not sure how close they're going to let me get. But there's a river that runs all the way over there. All of this used to be houses. Every single part you see was suburban fucking Christchurch until the earthquakes happened. And um, this was all swamp land. And all the houses got fucked. And the only thing you can do with the land now, because they're not actually allowed to build on it, you can't insure your property if you build on it. It's called red zone. So all that they can do is make parklands. And so there's huge amount of parklands around around here not this is just one bit it stretches for you know quite a quite a few kilometers that way well it's probably about a kilometer actually um, but yeah it's a lot like a square kilometer worth of you know complete parkland it's quite a lot a kilometer squared sorry anyways let's get going Stop me, I'm all the way up. All the way up. All the way up.